Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's tap in. Let's see. Let's see. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. I hope you guys are in a really good mood. I feel refreshed. I really feel refreshed. I hope you guys are feeling like how I'm feeling. But let's see what's going on, Gemini. Let's tap into your energy. Let's get the tea. Let's see what's going on with you all. Okay. So let's see what's going on for my gem gems. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, or whoever is guided to watch this video, you are also welcome here. Okay, cross watches, you're welcome as well. Make sure you guys flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. So what is going on with Gemini spirit? What is going on with Gemini and their energy? Who's in their energy? Why? What does Gemini need to hear and know? Okay, let's see. Let's pull some angel cards first. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So we have number six, Taurus. So you could be on the cusp, Gemini. I always get that with y'all anyways. But we have um, Anil, star of love and beauty. Serene, reassuring, creative, love, sensuality, reflection, psychic ability. I hope raise your vibration to the higher frequencies of joy and love to experience more passion in your life. All right, so you might need the crystal moonstone. I just brought me a lot of moonstone jewelry. <laughs> I can't wait to put it on. Um, something could be happening on Friday. And then it says developing romance. So something is getting hot and heavy here, it looks like. Um, yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Taurus is the sign of sensuality. Okay, I would know I'm a Taurus. <laughs> So let's see. Yeah, another Sunday we have Libra. Okay, so a lot of Venus energy, a lot of love. Okay, a lot of love here, a lot of passion between maybe you and somebody else. But we have number 10 here. Something could be ending in your life. Um, Gemini, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, yeah, another Gemini. So it says Hazil, Angel of Unconditional Forgiveness. So it says loving encouragement, mercy fights evil, non-judgmental sees only inner innocence. I raise your vibration through love and forgiveness and hope you see the pure heart within yourself and others. So you might need the crystal topaz. Something could be happening within three weeks. And then we have ask the angels. Hmm, so you could be curious about something here. You're trying to figure something out. All right. So we have Anil and Hazel or Hazel, but I think it's Hazel. Okay, for you, um, yeah, that's that Neptunian energy. I think that is Neptune right here. Oh, no, that's Sedna. Inner beauty sees inside. There's something that you can see about somebody. Okay, there's something that you understand about someone. All right, on, on a deeper level here, um, Gemini. You could be helping to protect somebody here. You could be fighting off something for someone energetically. And maybe they're doing this shit here with you too. This could be somebody that you, you're always going to like love or have feelings for. <laughs> um, there could be something that you've done that um, your angels are forgiving you for. You've repented or somebody's repenting for something that they did. Somebody's name could be Anna, Annalise. Let's see. You guys could be seeing the angel numbers 444-555-999. All right, so let's see what's going on here for Jim Jims. What do they need to hear and know? I feel like you're getting ready to get confirmation about something. Maybe through your intuition. Yeah, Lalil, guardian of the divine light, clearing energy. I mean, clear clear healing lights. I mean, clear healing light, aids light workers, spiritual insight. Yeah, patron of the arts and science. Let's see, what's going on for Gemini spirit? Give me clear messages for Gemini. Damn, okay, these cards fall on the floor. Damn, okay. Okay, yeah, so we have purpose, butting heads. So it says someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission, plays no games, has the facts. And then we have butting heads, fighting, getting into arguments, someone is in conflict, passive aggressive and sabotaging. Hmm. Okay, what else? 
So we have spirituality hater. <clears throat> Hating on your beliefs, not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. And then we have a star. Um, being popular, very successful, having a platform, being recognized and known. Yes, stalking. So somebody here is watching you, Saggy. All right. So I feel like, yeah, you could definitely be a high priestess. You could be um, a light worker, a star seed. Okay, that is a certain kind of light worker. But you could definitely be um you could be a tarot reader, a psychic, definitely very deep into your spiritual side, okay? You're definitely tapped in, I feel. You could be seeing the public eye here. You could get a, a lot of recognition, okay, for whatever it is that you do. But let's see. Why is this purpose here for Gemini? You could be going towards your purpose. If you're not too sure about what it is currently. But why is purpose here for Gemini spirit? Okay. Okay, so six of cups. There's that Scorpio. Somebody could be a Scorpio sun here. So, yeah, so there's something here. You're letting go of the past. The more you let go of the past, the more you step into who you are. Okay, um, there could have been some confusion about the past. Like you had some rose-tinted view of the past here. Yeah, you're cutting somebody off or this is somebody else. Um, but I feel like you're standing your ground here. You could be a public speaker. There could be something that you're speaking out about. This could just be you um, standing up for yourself or being very blunt with your communication. Some of y'all could even be going through a divorce here. But this six of cups in reverse, I feel like, yeah, you're you're letting somebody go. You're growing up, you're maturing. Or you had to cut somebody off to grow and mature. I feel like you're very cold towards someone. Okay, you had a high priestess. Wow. Yeah, some of y'all could definitely be um you could have a YouTube like me. You could have some kind of like platform where you speak, um, or where you do readings. You could even have your own store, your own business. Okay, but but yeah, you've let go of something here. You have five of cups in reverse. You've healed from something or you're you're healing from something. You're getting over something. Yeah, what's this queen of swords doing? So the high priestess, is there's something, yeah, there's something that you know. There's something here that you know. There could be something that somebody is keeping from you. It could be a Pisces here, a Libra. But I feel like you're highly desirable at this time, okay? And you could be um, fertile, all right? Some of you guys could have children here. You're settling something with your child's father or mother or child's mother, all right? But you could be fertile at this time. You could be creating or wanting to create something. What's the Queen of Swords doing? Okay, yeah, Gemini, there you go. Could be a Gemini, another Gemini here. So Ten of Swords, yeah, you cut somebody off. For some kind of like betrayal this is something that you're getting over i feel like you're being very serious about whatever this is though you're being very stern <laughs> you're not going to um you have your your guards up your boundaries up right now but you're definitely i feel like you're taking this new approach to where so you're not playing with nobody just period so you're definitely healing from something you're getting over something this could have been somebody that betrayed you or betrayed a person in your energy What's the high priestess? Okay, yeah. King of Pentacles in reverse. So you could know something about a Taurus. All right. Or you could just um, know something about a masculine here in your energy. They could have Taurus in their chart somewhere. There could be something going on with your finances or something going on with somebody else's finances here. Somebody could have been very greedy or selfish or somebody knows that somebody is like cheating, going through a divorce. Somebody's losing hella money too. Yeah. You can know that they're, yeah, five, five, five. You guys could be seeing. So there's a lot of fights and conflict here that's going on. All right. Yeah. With the marriage, four of wands. Mm. Yeah, you, you know something. You're speaking out about it, too. I feel like somebody's really saying something. Your purpose is helping to guide somebody. 
is what I, whatever your purpose is, whatever you're doing, you're helping to guide someone or to show somebody something. You're 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 digging deep into like what's behind the veil here, what's hidden behind the scenes that this person couldn't see or something like that. Or something. Cause you see, you see something about who's this King of Pentacles in reverse? You see something about somebody. Okay, yeah, something that somebody couldn't see, two of swords. Someone could have a Libra moon here. So yeah, somebody was like blinded by something. Okay, th there could be a tough decision that you're going to have to make here. This person could be hiding something. They could be hiding that they're going through money problems, but you already know about it. <laughs> yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, page of swords in reverse. This is why you and this person are not speaking. So you could have to make a decision coming up, or this is this person having to make tough decisions in their life. All right. Um, yeah, somebody couldn't see something. They didn't. It's like somebody didn't have all the answers to something, but you you see it, you know. All right. I feel like now they know too, though. But what's so? What's butting heads here? Okay, page of wands. So. Five of Swords. Someone could have an Aquarius um, Venus here. So the Page of Wands, there could be some communication coming from somebody here that is being manipulative or being a bully. Or somebody is trying to bully someone or stop someone from saying something to you here. Stop you from getting good news. Stop you from going towards what you're passionate about. Okay, yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, because you escaped somebody's bullshit or this is your person. Someone could have a Gemini, Jupiter. Yeah, 888. You guys could be seeing that. So, yeah, somebody overcame something or is overcoming some um, restriction or um, depression, even anxiety. There was like a blockage here spiritually. Yeah. You're on a very deep spiritual path with somebody else. Could be a twin for some of you. That's what I'm getting strong. So the Eight of Swords here, yeah. You're, you 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 see something clear. Somebody has escaped something, or they see something clear. They don't feel restricted or trapped anymore. What's this Page of Wands? What's the communication about? Okay, yeah, Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, a lot a lot of clarity coming through. A lot of clarity. Yeah, you could be withdrawing your energy from somebody that's very superficial. They never keep their promises. Very, very much so a weak ass energy. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse could be an Aries here. Yeah, something is clearing up. There could be something coming back for some of you is what I'm getting to intuitively. Like somebody had to release somebody or let someone go here. But the Seven of Cups in reverse is definitely um, a reality check. Seeing something very clear. Okay, coming from out of like an illusion. It's like somebody has made a decision. Somebody's not confused about something anymore. They know what they want to do. They know where they want to go. What's this Five of Swords? Three of Wands. Okay, Aries, Sun. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So you're you're moving forward here. I feel like this is you standing up for yourself, or this is somebody here standing up for themselves. Three of Wands talks about growth expansion. This is this is somebody waiting. Yeah, it's like somebody's like picking with you or trying to pick a fight because they don't want to let you go. Whoever this third party is, maybe they're involved with your person in some way. It could be an Aquarius. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but. Somebody here is really like revengeful and trying to distract somebody from reconciling with you or going towards you or something like that. All right. Yeah, so this is who this person could be butting heads with or you and this person are butting heads. Y'all not on the same page right now, but there's a lot of love here with this Venus energy. You and this person here love each other. I really feel like that. It's just, there's like bullshit. You could... Excuse me. Live at a distance from from this person. You could have moved away, or you're thinking about moving. 
But I feel like somebody's trying to come towards somebody to like bully them or fight or pick an argument, you know? And I feel like you've turned your back. You turned your back or this person has turned their back. Cause you're fighting back. You're not gonna. You're not gonna sit and be bullied no more. I feel like you look at somebody different, or something like that. You don't take them serious. <laughs> and once you find out what a person has done to you, or what they did, or whatever the fuck, it's just like you just look at them as a weak ass link. You look at them as the weakest fucking link. All right, just period. And so what's this eight of swords in reverse? Somebody here could have been getting hit on, abused. There could have been domestic violence. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all are getting a divorce from somebody that was money hungry. They could have been a thief, a con artist, a scam artist. Someone could have a Virgo Venus here. Yeah, so you're, there's a contract here that's being broken. It could be a work contract. It could be, could be anything, but there's something here that's been broken. For a lot of you, it's, it could be a spell here. It could be a spell. This person could be a light worker. You could be a light worker. They're supposed to be doing something that you're doing. That's why I feel like for some of you, y'all could be twins or y'all supposed to work together in some kind of way. But the nine of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's in debt. Definitely somebody that's a gold digger. Someone could have been stuck with someone that was um cheating on them continuously. Yeah, now somebody is standing up for themselves. They're moving the fuck on. And I feel like whoever this person is is waiting to see if their tactic was still working. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to work. What's because somebody sees something clear. Once you got clarity, that's it. <clears throat> Bitch, your ass is done. What's the spirituality hater? Yeah, page of swords in reverse and the king of wands. So <clears throat> There could be like malicious gossip here, Gemini, about what you do. Okay, it could be, yeah, it could be dealing with the Libra. There could be a lot of gossip and things like that about what you do. This person could have been against whatever you were doing at first too because they didn't understand it. Maybe they were, I'm definitely getting, they were on a different kind of like path or something <clears throat> that was pretty dark. All right, or somebody behind the scenes was doing something dark to this person, but This is somebody that you're definitely not speaking to with the page of swords in reverse. I feel like there's a lot of lies here. A lot of lies, a lot of like um like miscommunication. You and this person. Yeah. Y'all just not seeing eye to eye right now. Yeah, there's like bad news here. There's a plan or a strategy that didn't work out either. Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Gemini, uh, Mars energy. So the King of Wands is somebody that's going to take action. Let's see what this is. Something here. Yeah, somebody was like scatterbrained or something. They couldn't like think straight or something like that. They couldn't see something about you, about whatever it is that you're into spiritually what's the page of swords in reverse guys yeah 999 is here yeah the six of wands yeah somebody that's seen in the public eye it could be you you could get a lot of rewards and recognition here for what you do there was like lies and shit about you and what you do and all that but i'm getting um there's a lot of people that are gossiping <laughs> A lot of people are gossiping here about whatever it is that you have going on here. But I'm getting more so you and this person are not speaking, just period. You and somebody are not speaking. There's a lot of shit that's hidden here. A lot of shit that's hidden. Someone could have a Leo Jupiter. Yeah, this person, somebody could be making fake pages of you. I'm hearing something about green beans, honey. Maybe you had green beans last night for dinner <laughs> or you're cooking some today, all right, or something like that. For some of you, somebody was putting some shit in your food. Somebody could have been doing love spells on you or something. I feel like there was magic being done here somewhere.
something's going to be made public too. Somebody's receiving bad news from some kind of like public um, slander or something that somebody was doing here. What's this King of Wands? This reading is all over the place. Okay, yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Hangman in reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles in reverse talks about somebody here that's, where there's a lot of broken promises. This could be a deadbeat person, like a deadbeat baby daddy, baby mama. Um, or this person was dealing with the deadbeat here. <laughs> okay, or something like that. The Knight of Pentacles talks about two in reverse where they're unskilled. Okay, so maybe somebody was trying to copy off you, but this person doesn't have the skills that you have. Somebody here is lazy. They have really, really poor work ethic. Whoever this is. And they're gossiping and shit or something like that. What's this? Somebody is very materialistic too. They're very money hungry. Whoever this fire sign is. Could be man or woman. What's the um nine of swords in reverse? Yeah, the devil. Yeah, somebody's being haunted by something that they're doing. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this magic. <laughs> the magician in reverse. I felt that too. The magician in reverse with the hermit. This person is in secret doing like spell work or something like that. For some of you, you're dealing with a warlock. Okay, this could be a man. For some of you, I'm getting a man that was doing this or is currently doing this. Or somebody here is doing this to stop you from moving forward to cause a delay or stagnation. All right, yeah, whoever this is, this devil energy, now they're being haunted. This talks about somebody being like like hallucinating and very depressed or like an extreme regret about something. Because I feel like you got a victory over whatever the fuck this is or somebody else did. Uh, and something's getting ready to be made public. Something is going to be made like clear. It's going to be out in the open here. With this page of swords in reverse, this is like bad news. Or they try to slander you. It's just coming back on their ass. Just how they did it. It's coming back on them the same fucking way. These people are finding out something about this person. Whoever it could be. It could be an Aries. Or a Leo. It could be any damn body. But what's, yeah, somebody is seeing who the real star is. <laughs> and it's you. Yeah, what's the star card? I mean, what's a star being popular? Okay, yeah, Six of Pentacles. Someone could have a Taurus moon here. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, more, more magic being done. Somebody was trying to do some magic on someone's finances. Definitely somebody was trying to ruin someone's finances here. Abusing their, somebody's like abusing their position of authority with you. <clears throat> But definitely a plan or some kind of like strategy. It did not work, especially with someone's money, for sure. The justice here with the page of cups in reverse. So you could be getting good karma here. But there, there's there's something that's not going to work out in someone's favor in court either. If some of you guys are going through a court situation. The Empress was upright. What else for, the, for a star with the page of pentacles in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. So there's like, somebody could have been trying to start an argument with you or they're trying to like start an argument with you. It's like somebody is mad. They're mad about something here. Because they don't have the knowledge that you have with this Page of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but they want all this fucking attention though. This person is just weird, whoever the fuck this is. They're stalking you. Yeah, they're stalking what you do for work. It has something to do with your 12th house, your 10th house. That's your money, your work, your alkalides. Someone is trying to see what you know here. Yeah, but you caught them in something or you're going to see that they're very controlling or whatever the fuck. You're going to realize that they're a goddamn narcissist. The Ace of Swords in reverse talks about something here that failed, though. Something was not a success. It failed for sure. What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? I mean, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a Taurus here, very strong. Yeah, pff, wow. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I just said that. Who, I mean, I didn't know that shit was going to come out like that. So a bad investment here was made. Somebody here, somebody here could be losing a job. They're getting demoted. 
And I feel like everything is, is coming back to you here. Like they, they feel like you're the source of this fuckery that's happening in their life. And you probably are because you're karma. You're, you're this person's karma here. They, they know now not to fuck with you. But the seven of pentacles in reverse, I feel like you stop investing in something. You stop wasting your time. Or somebody here is just, I feel like they're frustrated. They're trying to delay your shit or delay something. They're frustrated because they can't do it. Okay? Or they can't scam you or something like that that they're trying to do with your finances. They could be trying to slow your, your money down here using magic or something. They're trying to fuck with your um stability for sure. Yeah, whoever this Queen of Wands is in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. Child by what's this? Somebody could be obsessively watching you too. If you do tarot or do something in divination, I don't know. You could be a psychic, you do, I don't know, but somebody could be obsessively watching you. What's this page of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, this okay, yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Someone could have a Capricorn, um, Mars. So yeah, this is somebody that keeps failing to learn from what they're doing here. They 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 still are going to continue to do whatever the fuck they're doing. Okay, I feel like somebody here is just lazy. They're lazy. They're not putting in the work, the effort, and whatever they're trying to do with these people or amongst a group of people. That shit is not working either. Yeah, this fucking magic again. The hermit, the magician in reverse, the emperor in reverse. Somebody is really trying to abuse their position of authority because they won't let you go here. Three of swords in reverse. There's like repressed trauma or emotions or they feel some kind of like way about you. And whoever this is is very competitive. This could be your child's father for some reason. This is a whole damn man that's still doing this dumb shit. Somebody here could just simply be unfaithful, undependable, unreliable. You can't really rely on this person for shit. They're getting bad news, though, as far as their finances. For what they did to you, they getting ready, somebody getting ready to lose their fucking job. Or however they were making their money, they ain't finna have that no more. Yeah, somebody's, like, abusing their power. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? They gonna lose this here. Especially if this is a court situation. For some of you, it is. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. Someone can have a cancer on um, moon. Ace of Cups in reverse is, yeah, bad news. This is some somebody can really get some bad news. Okay. It has something to do with you. There could be an argument. There's like hostility here between you and somebody. This could be somebody that you broke up with. This person has a lot of repressed emotions. A lot of like, um... Mm. Uh, I don't know. This person is a pathological liar too, though. So I feel like um, because you're getting up and you're moving around, you're doing something about a situation, this person is mad. They're, they're upset about something. Yeah, that, that you're breaking up with them or you don't want to fuck with them. You don't want to be in business with them for some of you. Because whoever this is is disorganized. They ain't got shit going on, really. This person could have cheated on you or something like that or just treated you wrong. So let's pull some of these really quick. Yeah, this person, they getting ready to get something. Something getting ready to happen or, or that's, something is falling apart in this person's life. And it definitely going to hit their pockets. Work contracts are not going to go right. Yeah, they getting ready to get some karma. Yeah, somebody here is watching you. This person could have a lot of your pictures. Okay, so it says new viewpoint in life, discovery, focus, vision, memories, options, learning new skills and self-expression. Yeah, so there, there's something about your skill set here. Yeah, a book here. So you, you're definitely learning. You have this knowledge that can't somebody uh, somebody can't obtain here. Okay, just period. But somebody here is definitely keeping an eye on you. They're, they're watching you very close. Because you're very skilled. There's something about your skills that somebody here. What else? Ladder. Difficult times are near or ending work harder to move further ahead lack of understanding of or from others yeah somebody here is missing you from your past 
tainted memories, not spending enough time in the present. Yeah, somebody from your past here is missing you, but you've released them. You've let them go. Now they have a new viewpoint. They look at something that you do from a different perspective because it's helping them. Whoever this is, is helping them see something very clear, very different. Climbing your way to the top, willingness to grow spiritually, success, setting and reevaluating goals. Yeah, and then it says difficult times are near or, or ending. Work harder to move to uh to move further ahead. Lack of understanding of or from others. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to get an understanding about what you're doing here. How do you how do you gain this knowledge? How did you know this about whatever the fuck they did or what they're doing or what happened here? Yeah, it's like something. What else? So we have pumpkin. Somebody's birthday could be around Halloween, October. It could be a Libra, Scorpio, or yeah, I think that's. So it says something is hidden. Dig deeper. Yeah, isolation and coldness, mourning, loss, short-term delays, living in the past. Definitely something from someone's past here. Pay attention to nutrition, opportunities with a time limit, health, wealth, and prosperity is yours. So somebody could have really been trying to um, fuck with your health, your money, try to stop you from prospering here and i feel like it's something very dark with this pumpkin i just feel like something was very evil about somebody that you're butting heads with or that this person is butting heads with so they, they somebody has dug deeper and found something out so now it's like somebody's trying to get rid of something Yeah, we have chain, union, strong emotions, prideful, heavy negativity. Yeah, enormous effort, feeling tied down, treacherous people, for sure. It's a lot of people here that, that have treacherous energy. All right, so this guy has something to do with definitely your union. This person is finding out something about your union or you're finding something out. You and this person have an energetic tie with this chain here. You feel like you're bound to somebody or tied to somebody. It's because they're part of your, they're supposed to be a, a part of your life in some way, but you guys haven't been able to get into union or something like that. Yeah, it says chaining to something harmful. Yeah, because somebody was, had to break away from toxic people, from toxic habits to um, have a healthy union here with you. There's like strong emotions that you have for somebody, but there's something that's been dark here. What else? Some of you guys need to charge your crystals or you need to go buy some. So we have stones, long lasting relationships and projects. Yeah, power, never give up, rare, unique transformation, endurance and strength. Yeah, you could definitely be into crystals. It's like this person is trying to figure out what you're into. It's like they're trying to learn something from you so they could become strong and um, more wise and more skilled at something that they're supposed to be doing too. You know, but then there's somebody else behind this person that's like in the way. Yes, yeah, so we have horseshoe. Good luck, protection, success. Fu future is up to you. Caring spouse, unique opportunities. Take them. So there could be opportunities coming in about your job, about what you do uh, for your work here. If it's spiritual, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, somebody could have been doing mirror magic too. But I see good luck and protect. you're protected here from whatever this is that somebody was trying to do to you. There's a relationship that's long lasting or you're supposed to, there's a project here that's going to last for a long time because you didn't give up. And whatever you do could be very rare, very different. So somebody here doesn't like the light here. Somebody here doesn't like the fact that you're doing something to help guide or help um, awaken others. And you endure whatever this is. What else? Yeah, somebody here's a hater. <laughs> yeah, something about money, productivity, success, duality, spiritual peace. Yep. Health, harmony, pay raise, promotion, recognition. So that's something that you're getting and somebody else is not. Need of emotional balance, debts, untapped potential and talents. Yeah. Somebody here doesn't have the sauce, Gemini. They don't have what you have. Yeah, book, deeper meaning, enhancement, knowledge. There's something that somebody here can't tap into that you just have. Yeah, star again. <laughs> somebody here can't tap into something that you have. Just period. They can't. So 
deeper meaning, enhancement, knowledge, wisdom, learning, truth, imagination, beauty, and love. And you're very beautiful or handsome if you're a man doing this. Yeah, somebody here feels some kind of way that they can't do something here that you're doing. Yeah, there's power in your presence, guiding light, what I just landed on. Yep. Wow, this is very significant. So I'm going to leave these two because they it, it, it matches. Chasing the bag. Your money manifestations is at an all-time high right now. If you're looking for a new employment, I mean, for new employment, apply now. If you're waiting for that call, you will receive it. Those business plans, start them. Whatever you set your intentions for, they will manifest. The money will be rolling in. So some of y'all about to come into some money here. And it says there is power in your presence. Guiding light, positive, motivating force, influential role model. Your presence, actions, and your words may make a big impact on others. Catalyst for uplifting those around you. Mentor, earth angel. The way you view the world is inspiring. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's you, gems. Yeah. So you are definitely... Somebody here that is, um, you're an earth angel, you're a healer. Somebody here wants something that you had. They want your power. They want your, your spot here that they can't, they clearly can't have it. And now they ask for to lose everything, whoever this is, because they definitely try to plan something or make you look like you ain't got shit going on. It says, why so serious? It's not that, it's not that serious. Loosen up, chill out. Don't be pessimistic. Keep your sense of humor. Laughter is the best medicine. You are in charge of your happiness. Smile. You don't own all the problems in the world. <laughs> okay, so have a little fun here. Lighten up. Yeah, energy never lies. And then we have boundaries. So somebody's energy is definitely off and you know it. You know the truth by the way that it feels. Same through the facade. Trust your instincts. To see past an illusion, your gut knows what's up. Pay close attention to whom your energy increases and decreases around. So, yeah, this was your reading, Gemini. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.